casual dresser here um shooting what is my first video for a few months i always harp on about mental well-being and looking after yourself etc etc and yeah i've just taken a couple of months just to look after myself a lot on at work um a lot in the house with the family so yeah i took a couple of months for myself and i'm back now some of you who follow my videos will know that i've been harping on about the brand hawkwood mercantile for quite a while now so ordered a, a smock um hawkwood mercantile looks really nice um but unfortunately you'll probably sympathize with me here i was not in for delivery so i'm now gonna have to go and pick it up from the post office which is what i'm doing now i'm already out of breath it's the last days of summer um so it's gonna be a long walk um you'll also remember i reviewed this cap at the start of the year to say that actually it's one of the only stone islands that fits my head and i do still like it however can you see at the back here it is um it's strap here is really hard to get tucked back into the cap so i end up just wearing it sticking out which is a pain really um so if you are going to get one it's a lovely cap and it does fit massive heads like mine but it's a massive flaw that this doesn't just stick in a lot easier so let's pull it tight and that's what it sits like anyway um off to get the hawkwood mercantile loads of people have been raving about it i can't wait to get my hands on one and do a review for you it's good to be back uh and i'll see you on the other side speak soon Okay, fast forward a couple of hours and I am back from my walk. I picked up my parcel, uh, easy, no fuss, and I'm back and I am over the moon. Um, you'll see behind me here that this is my first ever Hawkwood Mercantile and you'll have seen me bang on about it before. Um, I talked about the feature that was in the Paninaro magazine where they interviewed him um, and I found out about this company, Hawkwood Mercantile, from... Um, a friend I know called Mike Porter, he runs uh, Northern Monkey Media. If you haven't checked him out, please do. His uh, dra jacket, giraffe, I was about to say giraffe, jacket collection is absolutely insane. Uh, I bought a few pieces from him, he's bought from me, top lad, so go and follow him. Anyway, he showed me a smock that he got from Hawkwood Mercantile. Uh, same colour as this, um, different model, got it direct from uh, the company and it came like a teddy and it looked absolutely fantastic. So it sort of like piqued my interest and I thought I need to get one one day. Obviously I talked about in the Panamera magazine review that I did, so if you haven't seen that, go back across and have a watch of that video. Um, yeah, but yeah, this is my first one. So the company was uh, made by Richard Illingworth. Here's a picture of the man himself uh, in 2016. Now a lot about what I'm gonna talk about now it has been stolen from Proper Mag, so Proper Mag, please don't sue me. Uh, this is my reference. I'll bang it in the comments below. Uh, go across and see Proper Mag's interview uh, on the internet because they go into depth with Richard about his company. But yeah, it was starting in 2016 and it draws heavily from the military sort of influence. Uh, and he talks about people like Ned, Nigel Caborn um, and his sort of ideas and he's sort of shaping his business around some of those sort of looks. And Woolrich as well. Um, so... I don't know if I'm really into the military look. I mean, I do like the Telestella. Um, I do like the Telestella from Stone Island. Apart from that, I'm not sure, but some of his stuff absolutely blows me away. So what I'm gonna do is continue talking about um, Hawkwood Mercantile, then I'm gonna show you the jacket. I'm gonna wear it outside, autumnal colors. Let's get outside in the leaves soon. Uh, and I'll, I'll talk about jacket more in depth. But yeah, so um, India, so it's from India um, and where I've sort of shot myself in the foot, and I was 50-50 here, is that this company is all about bespoke items. So what Richard does is, he has no website, which is quite unique in itself in this modern era, um, but he's got an Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, and what he basically does is, he bangs up a prototype on one of those, for, uh, one of those sort of mediums there, um, and that sort of to get it to market to show that he's not copying anybody. So bangs a, for example, let's say bangs this smock up there and I have interest in it. 
I then have to message him personally and from there it's a personal experience for me. So I can then say, right, actually I want pit to cuff to be a bit longer. Because you find that sometimes when you're buying jackets, sometimes the pit to cuff, your arms are a bit short, but the body's quite long, so he can tailor it for you because it's made in-house. So I could, if I bought this smock, for example, directly from him, I could say, right, I want the pit to cuff to be a bit longer, but I actually want the body of it, the, the pit to hem, to be a bit shorter. Um, little things like the buttons, I could change the buttons. So there's three white buttons, but I've seen somewhere there may be a green button in the middle. That's sort of the, the sort of, um, the care and focus that you're going to get from Harper and Mercantile, and that's what sort of piqued my interest. Now, people will say that I've missed out on that, and I have, but I'm here as sort of a, a casual buyer not to buy from retailers, but I think it's slightly different. Instead of buying from flannels, all those big stores that are um, basically making money on other designers, I think if you go straight to the source, and that would be Richard Dillon with himself at Harper and Mercantile, and drop him a message for one of his items, I think that's different and I think that's what I'm going to do now. I think I'm going to go ahead now and buy my own piece from you and see what that actually looks like, see what the experience is like. So tune in future episodes, you might see a Hawk and Mercantile piece. Um, they're not cheap, but they're not expensive. Do your own research on the prices because they all differ. Um, but when you get your piece sent out, you get it sent out in a lovely cloth bag with a Hawk and Mercantile stamp on it. Um, each one of those is tagged as well, so it's got a a date and it's got the piece number um, which is a really nice touch and it also comes with a smaller bag as you can see here um, that has spare fabric so if you're like me and you are clumsy and you were to tear it or have a disaster with it it could be repaired I really like that as an extra touch you don't get that with uh, many designers so that's sort of Hawker Mercantile in a nutshell um, I would urge you to go across and have a look at his Instagram uh, and the things that pop up there um, I'm going to now take you outside and show you what the fit check is. Now, I have been banging the weights recently. Well, I've only been doing that because I can't run. So, for a fit check, I am about 5, 10 and a half and about 15 stone. Um, I wonder if I've got a size on here. It's uh, medium. So, let's see Garment Amarach. Fabric, cotton, size, medium, washing, 30 degrees, just in case I didn't know what to wash that in, and made in India, um, nice and smart that. But yeah, it's a medium and I'm best part of 15 stone, so to see what it fits like on me, they, are, they do come up huge, um, but I'll bang this on, I'll meet you outside and let's go and chat. Right, so we're outside. And here is the smock that I bought from Hawkwood Mercantile. As mentioned before, it's a medium, um, and I normally wear an XL in Stone Island. So, in terms of sizing, it's pretty similar to an XL stroke XXL in Stone Island. Uh, so, they do come up pretty big. So, make sure um, when you speak to Richard over at Hawkwood that you get the measurements spot on. Um, it's a really, really nice jacket with loads of details. So, we've got a triple white button at the front all with single pockets um, and there's one on the arm here and um, we've got press studs to the cuffs so we can tighten those up I really like this feature at the front so this is a toggle um, but it's a wooden toggle I don't know if the original owner chose the wooden toggle I wonder if you can change the color of those um, I might have gone white again um, there's also a zip pocket at the back big enough to probably fit your mobile phone in there to be honest um, like I said before I love the colour I bought it because I do like orange anyway and it is an autumnal colour um, the feel on it is really good um, so like I say yeah I'm impressed with them really impressed with these jackets I'll probably go and buy another um, but I'll get it bespoke this time I'll go straight to the source um, but yeah quality wise it is up there with all the other brands it's certainly as good as your CP company Stone Island in terms of fit wise and branding so yeah I'll give it a, an 8 out of 10, 8.5 out of 10 I can see what the fuss is about, I'm glad I've got my own one um, so what I'll do is rather than just show you this one um, if you sit tight I'm going to show you loads of samples of Hawkwood Mercantile and I'll see you on the other side of that video
and that's it really. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Um, I hope possibly it's shown you a designer that maybe you didn't know about before now and you are going to go and head across because that's what this channel's about. I've said it from the start. It's about um, supporting independent um, designers like Richard. So even though it looks like he'll be doing well, the more support we can give him, the bigger his business is going to grow. Um, I hope you like the jacket. It's good to be back and I hope you've enjoyed tuning into a video that hasn't been out for, well I haven't put one out for a couple of months. Um, I am on at present 965 subscribers. If I can get 35 more subscribers, um, I will be absolutely buzzing. Um, I didn't think I'd get to a thousand, um, but I'm not far off. So please, if you haven't subscribed, please just hit the like button, um, the notification button and subscribe. And if you know anybody else who may like this channel, please can you share it with them on your media. So if that's Instagram, I've got an Instagram, here it is, here's my Instagram. So please share my Instagram or share my YouTube on your platforms because that will help it grow. If you've got a YouTube channel, please get in contact um, and we can shout each other out or do a collab together. I would like to do some collabs now with other YouTube uh, users. So please get in contact with me. Here's my email address. Um, and the same way that if you are an up and coming designer um, or I've got an independent shop, preferably somewhere in the north that I can get to quite easy, please do drop me an email. I'll either come and see you um, and have a look around the store or we can just chat and I can try and shout you out here. Um, get in touch, take care. This is probably the last day of summer today. It is quite warm outside, so um, enjoy it. And then we're gonna be into, well, it's Hull Fair. If you live in Hull, like I do, get yourself to Hull Fair because it's huge and it's banging. Although I can only do one night because my head hurts otherwise. Um, but yeah, take care of yourselves um, and I will see you on my next episode. Peace.